Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, I'm gonna answer the question, can I heat a hot tub with solar power? So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so I'm gonna jump right in and answer the question. The answer is yes, you can. However, don't go anywhere because I'm gonna explore three potential ways that you can heat your hot tub with solar power. Now, the first is probably the one that is most common and it's the one, certainly it's the question that I get asked the most about solar power. So you've got some solar panels on your roof, you've got a battery to store said power and you want to use that power to heat your hot tub. Well, the answer is yes, you can if you can store enough power. And this really comes down to, firstly, how many panels you've got on your roof, and secondly, how big the battery pack is. So if we take the example of the Tesla Powerwall. Tesla, name obviously synonymous with uh, electricity, electric vehicles and batteries. The power wall that you can see behind me here, this can actually store something in the range of 13 and a half kilowatt hours when I looked at the specifications of it earlier. Now, if you want to heat your hot tub using this stored electric, a regular spa pack heater in the US is about 5.5 kilowatts and in Europe, it's a three kilowatt. So if you take that three kilowatt, you then divide the number of kilowatt hours that that battery can store, it will show you or it will tell you how long that battery is gonna heat your hot tub. So for a 5.5, you're looking at two and a bit hours. For a three kilowatt electric heater, you're looking at about four and a bit hours. It's not a lot is the sort of conclusion that I can come to on, on that. And that's excluding the pump that's gonna be running to circulate the water through the heater. So really storing solar power that way to use on your hot tub isn't the best way of doing things. Also, the actual cost of these things, you would need obviously in this example to dedicate the, the whole system just to the hot tub and a typical installation, so I found according to Google, is around about the 10,000 pound mark in the UK, which is around about $12,000 on current exchange rate. 12 grand to install a solar system just for your hot tub heating is crazy. It's gonna be around the same cost of a tub, if not more. So realistically, that's probably not the best way to do things. Now, before I get on to what I think are the two more viable options, always a great opportunity for me to say, please do subscribe to the channel, hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I do two long form videos just like this every single week, a whole bunch of shorts and everything on my channel focuses on DIY hot tubs, plunge pools, parts, and, and pretty much everything in between. Okay, so we've established that yes, it's possible to run your hot tub or heat your hot tub on solar power. You've got to store an awful lot of power. You've got to have a very expensive setup to do so, and it's not going to last very long. That's basically the, the conclusion. So what are the other options? Well, I believe the term for, for those panels is the photovoltaic cells, and they're the ones that are harnessing the power that we can then gonna store. What about solar heating that you've got in your home? By solar heating, I mean the, where the water passes through those long series of, of black pipes, and there's a, a picture of one behind me here, and that water is heated, it's, you know, it, it absorbs the heat through the, the dark pipes that are basically baked in the sun and they're, they're on your roof of your property. 
Well, that water can actually get to a, a good temperature. So by good temperature, I mean, it's gonna be around about the 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. So we're looking around the 120 Fahrenheit mark. Now, if you have water that is being circulated around your solar system at that temperature, then we can make use of it. And we can make use of it with one of these. So this is a heat exchanger. And the way that a heat exchanger works is you can send the hot water from a solar heating system around the outside of the heat exchanger. In doing so, it heats up the transfer plates. So those pipes that you can see inside of the heat exchanger. And when the hot tub water is then passed through those pipes, it absorbs the heat. So it's transferring the heat from the water that's heated by the solar into the water that's circulating through the heat exchanger. So those two bodies of water are totally separate. However, the heat is transferred from one to the other through that heat exchange. Now, heat exchanges can create a huge amount of heat. So that 120 Fahrenheit water that's being circulated, depending on the exact model of heat exchanger, that water could be creating anything from around 12 right up to around 60 kilowatts of heat. So if you contrast that to that spa pack, which has got a, a five and a half kilowatt heater, electric heater, or a three kilowatt if you're over in Europe, that's a huge amount of, of heat that you can generate through the heat exchanger by circulating water that is heated by solar. So indirectly, we're using the solar there to heat the hot tub. In doing so, we'd actually be able to, in this case, switch off the electric heater or unplug it from the spa pack because we'd be producing that much heat through the heat exchanger with that water that's being circulated. So using a heat exchanger with a solar heating system can indirectly heat your hot tub. And the best thing about heat exchangers is they're only a few hundred dollars. So instead of that super expensive install with the battery pack and, and everything else, you've got a much more economical way of utilizing the power of the sun to actually heat your hot tub. Now, the downside of a heat exchanger is it's quite difficult to control the temperature. Yes, you can get digital thermostats, those digital thermostats can then send signals over to electro valves to kind of stop the flow of water. Because as long as there's that water, that hot water circulating around the outside, that heat exchanger is going to be giving off heat. So that's the only real downside is controlling the amount of heat. So what's a third option for heating your hot tub with solar? Again, it's kind of indirectly doing so, but I have had customers that have done this successfully. And what they have done is they've combined their solar power system that they've already got. So they've, they've already outlaid that cash. I, I must sort of put that out there. It's, it's not economical to, to buy in a solar system purely for, for heating your, your hot tub. But if you've got one already, here's a way of utilizing it. They charge up during the day. Then at night, they're then using the power that they've stored to run their air source heat pump. So we're using two green technologies here and that air source heat pump can then harvest the heat from the air. Um, obviously, if it's colder, it has to work a bit harder so it'll consume more of that stored energy. But utilizing the solar power that's been stored to power an air source heat pump is essentially heating your hot tub for free. Again, you've got to invest in the air source heat pump. Customers of mine that have done so are getting a payback in around 12 to 18 months. And that's just on the, the general running costs. If you're combining it with a solar system in this way, 
and I had a customer, James, shout out to James, I know you subscribe to this channel. Uh, he actually combined the two and he basically heats his hot tub for free. He uses the stored energy that's in the batteries from his solar panels that are on his roof to power his air source heat pump that he uses only at night and then the hot tub is, is really well insulated so it maintains its heat and then he doesn't need to use it during the day when he's charging up those batteries again. So there we have it, there's three different ways that you can use solar to heat your hot tub. Hopefully you found this short video useful, if you have give me a like, if you've got any questions hit me up in the comments and as always I appreciate the view, thanks ever so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.